This is Roy Candy, and this is Favorite Game Friday, where we have a group of contributors with completely different tastes in gaming talk about their favorite game in the category of the week. This week, we're talking all about games that are great to play at conventions. What's a game that you would love to play if you were at a convention with a bunch of different groups of people that you'd have a blast playing and really enjoy getting to the table? Anyway, if you have one that would be awesome to play at cons, leave it in the comments down below, and let's get to the contributors clips. Thinking back on some of the conventions I've been to, Spirit Island is a game I really like to play. It's kind of, I've seen it in a couple of Richie Cons, I've seen it in some Dice Tower Wests. It's a really fun game, cooperative game for, it's a, such a big game uh, that uh, sometimes you need a convention place as a place to say, hey, let's play a big game, Spirit Island. Kimberly from Tabletop Tolson here, and the game I have to play at every con I go to is 25 words or less. Now, I don't have a copy of it, and my friend Andy and I always think we can do it in fewer words than we really can, so it's loads of fun. What about you, Mark? Right, 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 right. Well, for me, Kim, it's Billabong. It's a super fun, fast, easy racing game, and I don't have a copy of it either. Hello, everyone. Ben Myers here. Danielle here. And today's topic for Favorite Game Friday is games to play at conventions, games that play quickly. You can teach them pretty easily to newer players and ones that don't take a lot of time and ones that can get you on with your day. My pick is going to be Minara. It's a cooperative stacking game. It takes only about two minutes to teach, and it's a fun, exciting experience that not a lot of people have tried. It's a super fun game. I personally picked Pandemic, because especially this day and age, and, you know, can you save humanity? You're literally trying to eradicate a disease. Pretty easy to teach, might take a little longer than what you should play at a convention, but it's still super fun. And if you don't want a cooperative game, because this is cooperative, there's always Clank where you're traveling through dungeons, trying to steal artifacts, and trying not to let a dragon kill you. Deck Builder. Happy Friday, everyone. Bye. Bye. Hey, everybody. This week's topic is best convention game. Uh, I've never been to a convention, but if I was to ever go to one, which would be really cool, uh, I would want to play Deception, Murder, in Hong Kong. Why? Well, one, it's one of my favorite games, and I don't get to play it that often because of the high minimum player count, yeah. and I've never played with anything close to the maximum number of players, so it'd be great to have a convention where I can have, you know, the full gamut of all the different yeah. types of characters, the different, uh, you know, the, you'd have the accomplice, the witness, and all that good stuff, Every because I have the expansion, you know, every role could be in the game, and that would be yeah. exciting, so, best convention game for me, Deception, Murder, and Hong Kong. Woo! Okay, my pick is Ink and Go. Now, Ink and Go is basically push your luck the game. Now, basically, you're just drawing cards, and you have to, it's who can get the most gems, and there's going to be a bunch of hazards, so you basically see, do I want to go deeper to get that treasure, <laughs> or do you want to leave? Because, be safe and yeah, go be back. Yeah, be safe and, and go lock back. Lock that treasure in. Lock that treasure in. And then, I've got One Night Ultimate Werewolf, and this is also a great game, because which would be nice to have a lot of players because this is a game where basically everybody has to close their eyes and the little narrator, I guess, well... Yeah, the app will yeah, tell the you, app will tell who, you what who wakes do. up, they do whatever action, and then at the end you have to figure out who the bad guys yeah. are or if you're the bad guys, you're trying to pretend to be good so that you don't get killed. <laughs> yeah. I would agree with this choice. I have to say, I'm going to piggyback off this. That would be one I would really like to play at a convention just to have a yeah. massive number of roles and see the interaction. It would be great. Yeah, yeah. I'm not the werewolf. I'm not the werewolf. Oh, and I got voted. And I was the werewolf, so I lost. So you got to be... The thing is, the thing is about this game, you don't want to be too peaceful because then people think, well, you're the werewolf. Too peaceful. Yep, that's too good. nice. It's yeah. a good game. So that's your picks. <laughs> yep. Hopefully y'all had some good ones too, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Hi. This week, games that we'd like to play at a convention. Multiple days, lots of gamers around. Me, I'd like to uh, learn a coin game like Liberty or Death at a, maybe a war game convention or play some of the bigger games. And another game I'd like to play it's Dune right here. I played out at Dice Tower a few times. I've loved the groups. And you? The Goonies never say die. The little dragons. She liked to run a nice long little story for uh, multiple players on Goonies. And I think she would like to play a long multi-day campaign of Dungeons and Dragons. Don't forget, save the clock tower. Happy Friday. Take care. Happy Friday everyone, I'm Julian and this is Libby and we are from Boxed Meeples on YouTube, on Instagram and on Twitter. This week we're talking about what our favourite games are to take with us to a gaming convention. Well we've just been to the UK Games Expo and at the UK Games Expo we played Tussy Mussy. Now at any expo you're going to be surrounded by gamers, not just casual people, people who love games. But you're not going to want to have a game that's too big that you can't fit in your bag because then you can't fit in new games that you're going to buy. 
So that's why Tassi Massey is so great. You can explain it in two minutes. It doesn't take up a lot of space, particularly if you have the original button shy version. And uh, there's enough depth and strategy in the game to be able to play it with people who are more seasoned and used to a challenge. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think there's a lot to be said for gaming libraries that are often at these sort of cons. So in terms of taking the bigger games, I think maybe take uh, the opportunity to use those and try something from there. But something you might want to take with you to fill the gaps and things would be ultra tiny epic galaxies um as you can see it's like playing card size so easy to fit in your bag as julian said you don't want to be like giving things around probably if you're anything like us you've bought too much already that you're already having to sort of lug back and forth to the hotel room the car etc so something really nice and small but that you can spread out on the table and play with a few new friends is perfect hi everyone i'm nathan if i ever went to a convention i would bring along cartographers that would be my favorite game to play at a convention. It's competitive, but it's not very, you know, mean-spirited. They, there is, of course, everybody gets their own sheet of paper, and then they don't have to touch my game components. Of course, they can share my colored pencils. That's fine. And, of course, before the game, we can all come up with little cartographer names and kingdom names and cool designs to draw on our shields and we could share those and that's very and that's wonderful and let's see during the game we can come up with little stories if anybody wants like here's an orchard what uh what kind of fruit what kind of fruit do you have in your orchard mine is prunes and we could come up with little stories about our maps if you wanted see this river over here in the corner it is an enchanted stream the most delicious, cool, refreshing water you've ever seen, but it's also extremely haunted. And of course, in the end, we can all look at the maps that we've made and and tell each other what great artistic skills we have. Positive reinforcements. So, that's why Cartographers is a game I would play at a convention. Hi, it's Barb from Meeple PhD, where I connect astronomy and board games. And my favorite game to play at a convention? Well, it's a game I've never played before. Typically when I'm going to a convention, I have a big long list of games that I want to try out for the first time. Either classic games from the game library that's available there or games from publishers that are just coming out. And I want to make a decision about whether or not it's worth space on my game shelf. Occasionally I'll play a kind of a big game that I know I'm never going to buy. Uh, just because it's too big to fit on my game shelf or something that's never going to come out with my game group and I want to play it at least once to see what it's like. But it's rare that I play the same game more than once at a convention. So happy Friday everyone. Hey everybody, my pick this week is a personal one for me and my family and it's called King Frog. Every year at Grand Con, my family and I play this game together. It's it's like a silly, uh, like simultaneous selection racing type game with these little cute little frog wooden frog pieces. Um, it's a lot of fun, um, but we play it every year together. And like the then the winner is like the king frog until the next year. Um, I believe I've won it the most times. Um, I think I'm the reigning champion, and uh, Grand Con's coming up again this uh, this fall. So uh, we'll see if I can hold on to that title. Happy Friday, everybody. Hi, we're the Hendersons. I'm Daniel. And I'm Deb. And this week's topic are games that we can play at conventions. Daniel, what's your favorite? Well, I like those games that the old guy brings in that were published 15 or 20 years ago, and they always seem to have an orange and brown cover like the ones behind me. They're really fun, intricate, and they're really hard to find, so you got to play it when that guy has it. And he'll teach you, he'll beat you, but you'll still have a great time playing it. The other thing I like to do is check the library at the game convention and go in there, pick something out at random that you've heard of, or research it ahead of time if, if you can do that. For example, after the Empire, you're going to build a castle, and you're going to do worker placement, and then you're going to defend the castle. That sounds really cool, and it's not a game that I'm going to buy. Definitely not a sports game like Baseball Highlights 2045, where you play six innings of robot baseball with a card game. I've heard it's really fun. It's not something that I'd ever seek out. But if it's in the library, I'm going to give it a try. Deb, what do you have? A uh, couple of games here. First of all, Ultimate Werewolf has been really fun for us at conventions. 
where when you've got a great MC putting it to all together, it can be three hours or more of a, just a lot of fun with one game. But another one that I think will be great, and I'm going to have with me at Dice Tower East, is Skull. And if you see us there, want to play it, let me know. I'd love to pull it out and we'll give it a try. We're both hoping to see you there at Dice Tower East, and happy gaming. Assalamu alaikum. When it comes to convention game, you do want a kind of a party game or you do want uh, a game which plays with a lot of players. So uh, a game that plays with a lot of players, I have many of those games, but those can be played at other times as well. So instead, I'm going to pick uh, Super Rhino Hero. Why? Because, well, it's just fun. And on convention, you're looking for more silly fun rather than uh, strategic fun. At least that's my intention out of a convention to have a more fun time uh, with the people around you. So that's why in Super Rhino, you're just going to be placing cards and making a tall tower and then seeing it fall is half of the fun. So if you're making those kind of memories with your friends and a large group of peoples, you will be flourishing many new friendships over this game, uh, playing that game. So that's why that's my favorite convention game, Super Rhino Hero. That's it for me. Happy gaming. Hello, twice as nice to dice you. And today we're talking about games that we love to play at convention. My favorite is Captain Sonar. Whenever you need eight people, a convention is always the perfect time. Mine is Battletech. Um, the setup is an hour long. The game could like take 12 hours or something. 12 hours. Yeah. That's a really long game for you. It is. <laughs> and mine would have to be the game that I played at Dice Tower West with a few of my friends. We played Flick 'em Up. I didn't have that game and I wanted to try it out and we had such a fun time. I played that one there. Me oh, too. Yeah. Bye. 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 Happy Friday, everyone. I'm Buddy, and I've never been to a board game convention, but the closest thing I've been to was a Gathering of Friends event that was at my local community college. And at that event, I loved playing Dice Throne, specifically Season 1, Second Edition. Hey, I'm Andy, and this week on Around the Board, we're going to tell you what cons we like to play at games. Personally, I like to play against people accused of white-collar crimes and espionage. First, they smell better, and second, I usually have less of a fear that I'm going to get stabbed by a sore loser. Uh, oh, uh, games played at cons, right. Uh, for me, it's uh, it's games that have hidden roles, social games. Probably the most common one is werewolves, and it's a blast. I, I love playing with people I don't know. For one thing, I love to troll people, and uh, it's just more fun when people don't realize I'm trying to troll them. Second, I'm more likely to stay alive longer because people don't know my evil ways yet either. I don't have a copy of Werewolf to show you, but I do have another hidden role game that is one of my favorites right here. That's right, Secret Hitler. It's a good one. If you're going to play it, make sure you download the iPhone app that features Will Wheaton narrating the start of the campaign. It's fantastic. Daniel, <laughs> what about you? All right. Well, my uh, con game is going to be Marvel Legendary. I picked this game because uh, it's kind of untraditional, but this is one of my favorite games. And with every expansion, the game becomes more convoluted and harder for new people to join in. So I just want to play with a bunch of people who know how to play the game, can pick up the cards, already know what they do, and knock that bad boy out in under an hour. That's my ideal game. John, what about you? Um, actually, for me, the most fun I had playing a game at a con was I don't have one to show either because it's a game that I don't normally enjoy, and that was either the one versus many or the co-op and thematic one versus many in co-op is a great game to play with people that you don't really know at a con. I was playing Die Hard, for instance, at a con. And if you know Die Hard, it's one of the most poorly produced games that's come out recently <laughs> with these ridiculously small and melted looking yeah, minis. And it's, 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 it's amazing what, what they got away with with that game. But Nevertheless, playing it with people you don't know, but everybody knows Die Hard. So you're quoting the movie, you're having fun, and it's a great way to get to know people rather than playing just your average game that, that might be a little more challenging or might be a better game, but you don't get to know anybody. So it's, it was, uh, I think, for the social aspect, playing the, the games that I never really don't, don't usually like, the uh, role, not the role-playing games, the... <laughs> what did I just say? Am one I, versus are we, many. Are we still on the air? <laughs> the, <laughs> the co-op games, the one versus many. Worked really good at a con. I think that's that's the way to go. What say you, old man Chris? <laughs> Thanks. Uh, yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense there, John. But uh, for me, it's going to be the games that 
I'm going to use Twilight Imperium as the game, but it's any games like that. Games that are just huge and sprawling, uh, table hogs, and, and, and just take like many, many hours to play. The games that you just don't get to your table normally that you can only get to the table at a con. That's what I'm looking at. Um, also, sometimes games people will put on like really like next level immersive games. Like you'll have like giant tables of people playing like Car Wars and stuff like that. And then people made like terrain out of XPS foam and stuff like that. Th those are the type of things I'm looking for. The, the experiences I can't get at, at my normal, normal game night. So, um, so that's what we got this week. Um, we are a new YouTube channel. Uh, so the information's there on the screen and uh, we'd love to see you. Hey guys, this week's topic is a game that you play at a con. I just came from a convention, but they, we didn't play any games there. But if I were to choose a game that is a great game to play at a convention, it'll be Pitch Car. I don't own it, so that's why I don't have it here and on me. But if I do get to see it at a convention, I will probably play it because it's such a fun game to watch people play. It. Just flick that car and watch it go. It doesn't matter if you're young, old, middle age, whatever the age is. It's such a good game, even just to be like a spectator. So that's my pick, Pitch Car. Awesome game. See you guys next time. Hello everyone, I'm the other Josh, and I've never been to a board game convention. But hopefully I'm going to remedy that in the next year or so, and it hasn't stopped me from making a list of games that I would like to play at a board game convention. Now, a few of the games that I've mentioned in past weeks, like Dune Imperium, Twilight Imperium, or Root, are all games that I would love to play at a convention. However, this week, I'm going with Pax Pamir 2nd Edition by Cole Worley. This game is a bit of a bigger learn and a bigger teach than I'm used to, and so I think it would be awesome to have some people get together who either know the game or are really willing to put in the time to learn the game to just hang out at a convention with and do that, learn the game. Um, excited to hear what all of you have to say this week. Hope you're having an awesome Friday, and I'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Ben from Hands On Buzzers, online game shows on Twitch and Discord. This favorite games Friday, we're talking about games we love to play at conventions. Now this one, when we do it at conventions, we have tables full. We always do a big tournament, and we always have the tables filled. And it's a game that goes back to the 60s, and that's Password. It's based on the old Goodson Todman game show of word association. How much can you communicate in just one word? If you want to get your partner to say the word flower, do you use the word bloom, rose, plant? What we like about Password is that anybody can play. Kids can play, adults can play, and adults can play with the kids. And for kids, it's also a great vocabulary learning tool. There have been over 30 different box games of Password throughout the years, so it's an enduring game as well. In fact, there's a new version of the game show coming out this fall. So if you have a chance, check out Password. We'll see you next Favorite Games Friday. Remember, check us out at Hands On Buzzers. It's always awesome to talk about the games that we enjoy and have fun playing at cons. Even if you haven't been to a convention, it's cool to think about playing games with a ton of other gamers around. Make sure to leave in the comments down below if you think there's a game you particularly enjoy playing at a con, and make sure to check out our contributors from all around the internet. It's awesome to have people join in here on Favorite Game Friday, and if you'd like to be a part of Favorite Game Friday, make sure to check out the Google Drive link down below. All you have to do is do a super short video on the topic of the week, and then we'll be able to put it up in next week favorite game Friday. This time we're going to be talking about art and aesthetics in games. Is there a game that the art and graphic design just looks amazing and beautiful to you that you really enjoy? You just like the way the game looks and the way it comes together? Um, make sure to leave a super short video with that clip in there and you can be a part of favorite game Friday. Anyway, I hope everybody has an amazing weekend and I'll see you on the next one. Yeah.